Hi friends, so I got the Jeep engine removed uh, the other day. You can see it behind me. I've got a little bit more to do before the Jeep can go to the frame shop to get the wrinkle pulled out. Unfortunately, uh, the next day after I pulled the engine out of the Jeep, the air conditioner in my house died. That is a good for nothing man air conditioner. That's what I call the piece of crap. Anyway, that's a separate series of videos because I'm gonna replace it. But what I'm gonna try and work on today is putting the grill back. The body shop asked for the grill to be in place when the Jeep came to him. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Um, and that's really the only thing that's left. Maybe secure some wires and stuff. But uh, other than that, we're ready to go to the frame shop. And God, I am so excited about that. Um, so let me get the, let's get the show on the road. I think that's good enough for you guys to see. I'm gonna put some gloves on. It's been a stressful week. I spent a day camping in the house and then, uh, yeah, and then no air conditioning. So I just turned on the fan, opened the windows. And the house ventilates fine. Spray foam still was quite useful in keeping heat out of the garage. Um, you know, it really, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Even today, I, so I borrowed a window unit from a buddy of mine. Uh, he has a 14,000 BTU window rattler from, you know, the dawn of time. And I put it in the window closest to my bedroom and turned it on. I slept really well last night. Felt great. Anyway, let's get this party started. So, this bolt needs to go in. <clears throat> so I've got a uh, little dilemma here. I guess I could just set this across here. There's no engine in the way. I uh, clipped... Where the hell did it go? So I clipped this uh, vent tube up here to brake line, and unfortunately, it is in the way. I was afraid that might happen. So I'm going to relocate it somewhere else. We'll relocate it to this side because I don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on on this side. Got some wires in the way. All right, so what we've done is just kind of start that. And next we're gonna bring these over. I've got all the bolts labeled. And actually these gloves are gonna be in my way. So I need to remember where these came from.
it's important to uh, line everything up properly. So I've got a left and a right, and I honestly, I don't remember which one's which. So I'm gonna test fit it. I think this is the driver's side. And the Jeep seems to agree. So I'm gonna put my headlamp on because yeah, I can't see anything under here without it. And I'm gonna show you guys more in detail on this side, what I'm actually doing. So if you're like, this video sucks, I can't see anything. Yeah, just be patient. I'll get to it on the other side. I can't hold the camera and work on the Jeep at the same time. It's really difficult. It's really important to get these bolts started well uh, so you don't cross that thread anything because these, the nuts these go into are welded in and it ain't gonna be pretty to replace them if you cross thread anything. So that's good enough. Let's see what the size of these bolts are. I think this is feels like 14. That seems right. Now I'm gonna use a flex socket when I do put these in, but for now, we're gonna work on this side. And I promised I'd show you what I'm doing. So I wanna get everything loose fit together before I tighten things down, because I know this is rack. So I've got, three nuts here and then there are three nuts here that have to be installed uh, have bolts put in so and we put the bolts in from in here so we got here and we got up here and it's honestly it's not that big of a deal and it helps to because this is all kind of racked, this is really a great two-person job, but there's only one of me, so. And I'm wearing glasses, which makes this harder than it needs to be. So I've just set the, the bolt there, and it would be a really horrible mistake if one was to do what I just did. And not bother to take the time to line up the rest of it. So you need to line it up. And again, I'm having some vision problems here. Uh, So that one's cross-threaded. So you want it to be able to spin freely like this. If you can get it in to spin freely two or three times, you are not cross-threaded. That one ain't spinning at all. So I'll come back and address it after I get the next one on. I don't know how the hell I got these out. And unfortunately, it's been that long.
All right, so those are all started. Now I've got to go to the back here and get these in. And these have the added joy of an extra bracket. Uh-oh. Uh, I was afraid I was missing a bolt. I guess the bracket is some sort of reinforcement that Jeep felt was necessary. So, this is going to be tough. The reason it's tough is I'm right-handed. I really need to be doing this with my right hand. And I can't see in here because I can't get back there. So I think I'm going to use, let's see if I can use a screwdriver, that was too big. So one of the things you can do with something like this is you can use a screwdriver as sort of a alignment tool. one bottom one is going real smoothly and now I'm just gonna have to lean into this upper one rest <clears throat> all right good I think they're both good so let me put this uh, socket on here and let's start tightening these So a flexible extension is really good for situations like this where you don't have a whole lot of space and you don't need a whole lot of torque.
something wrong with that one. So we'll do these while we figure that out. here So I've got one more back over here that needs attention. So let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, so I might have one that was not right. I think that's right. All right, well, I'm just gonna screw with that later. So there's definitely a problem there. I probably need to rethread that nut. It looks cross-threaded. So let's move on and see what size this one is. That's probably 17. Sixteen. 
16. And that's good enough for the moment. I will just tell the body shop some of this stuff's loose. And so at this point, it is uh, probably ready to go to the body shop. Because that was the last thing I need to do. I, you know, I think I think I want to go ahead and secure some of these wires up here. I don't want them to fall down while I'm uh, transporting it. So I'm just going to bundle this stuff together. I think that's good enough. I mean, none of this is... So there we have it. Oh, I've got a parts bag down here. That's exciting. Uh, I guess we need to close the hood. There we go. So, at this point, it's ready to go to the frame shop. Uh, I think that is a Monday project at this point, unless I have some work that comes in. And uh, I'm excited. Man, it's been a long month getting to this point. It really has. Uh, I've owned it for a month. Well, maybe a couple days more than a month, but at any rate, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to like my video, and remember to hit the alert button so you'll find out when I post new videos. And remember to check out that playlist because that's how I organize all the crazy crap I work on. Thanks for watching.